Welcome back to another Champion Deep Dive, and today we're talking about Anti-Venom. He's got genetic mutation debuffs, regen, and power gain reversal, nullifying buffs with stagger, fury stacks that boost attacks, and much more. Let's get into it. Anti-Venom joins the contest with immunity to incinerate and poison. During the opponent's special attacks, Anti-Venom gains 40% defensive combat power rate per debuff on the opponent. Now, Anti-Venom has genetic memory with Spectre, Disorient, and Decelerate. When the fight starts, Anti-Venom selects the Spectre Memory debuff and inflicts an indefinite Clintar debuff. Where for every 10 hits in the combo meter from either champion, Anti-Venom inflicts the selected genetic memory debuff. Now, selecting the next genetic memory debuff in the list is triggered by landing a second medium attack. Defenders have a 50% chance to change the selection when inflicting a genetic memory debuff. The Spectre debuff reduces the opponent's regeneration rate by 16.66%. Disorient reduces defensive ability accuracy and block proficiency by 12.5%. And Decelerate lowers evade and unstoppable ability accuracy by 33%. And is not affected by class disadvantage. Further, genetic memory debuffs have a total max stack of 4. As for the Clintar debuff, it reduces physical resistance and gains additional properties based on Anti-Venom's opponent. For example, with Spider-Verse Heroes, the ability accuracy of evade effects are reduced by 100%. And for Mystic Champions, the ability accuracy of Unblockable is reduced by 65%. However, if Anti-Venom reaches a combo of 30 or more, the percentage is increased to 100%. Now, if the Clintar debuff is removed by any means, it comes back after 15 seconds. Now, Anti-Venom's heavy attacks inflict a stagger that lasts for 10 seconds, nullifying the next buff gained by the opponent, maxing out at 2 stacks. This will give you another avenue to shut down the opponent. Now, let's check out his special attacks. First, during all special attacks, personal passives are paused. With the special one, if not already active, Anti-Venom gains an accelerated mutation passive, causing him to inflict an additional genetic memory debuff for 15 seconds. And also, refreshes the evolved mutation passive gained from the special three. But more on that in just a bit. Now, if accelerated mutation is active, all hits deal a burst of physical damage. And the first hit inflicts a Petrify debuff, reducing the potency of the opponent's power gain and regeneration effects by 40% for 20 seconds. With the special two, on activation, consume all genetic memory debuffs on the opponent, granting a Fury passive per genetic memory consumed, gaining increased attack rating for 25 seconds. The Special 3. This inflicts a Rupture debuff, dealing physical damage over 15 seconds. Also, Anti-Venom gains a non-stacking Evolved Mutation passive, increasing the max number of genetic memory debuffs by 4, for a total of 8 genetic memory debuffs. And increasing Fury Potency and Duration by 25% for 25 seconds. We'll cover this more in the Champion Rotation. But first, let's check out the signature ability. When awakened, Anti-Venom gains controlled Symbiosis, gaining a passive regeneration stack that recovers up to 65% of the damage taken from a non-critical hit over 20 seconds, including blocked attacks. However, this effect is interrupted if the Clintar debuff is purified. Personal debuff potency is increased by up to 10% for every 10 hits in the combo meter from either champion. 
Non-personal debuffs are also increased by 5% for every 10 hits in the combo meter. This effect caps out at 50 hits, meaning those personal debuffs can be increased by up to 50% and non-personal debuffs up to 25. Now, let's take them out for a spin in the champion rotation. On longer fights, you'll want to rush to your special 3 to gain the Evolved Mutation passive, increasing the max number of genetic memory debuffs and that sweet bump of your fury duration and potency. Pro tip, remember your defensive power rate is increased significantly during the opponent's special attacks, so blocking them will net you some nice power gain if you're looking to quickly build up your power meter. Now, from there, launch the special one to gain an accelerated mutation passive to build up additional genetic mutation debuffs. And refresh the evolved mutation passive to keep the bonuses going. Next, work up two and launch the special two to gain a fury passive for each genetic memory consumed and relish in the damage. Keep in mind, the damage doesn't stop there. That long duration fury passive will keep even your basic attacks juiced up for big yellow numbers on basic attacks as well. Now, depending on how much time is left on the evolved mutation timer, you can either refresh with a special one, or speed to another special two to stack on more furies and increase your damage output. For shorter fights, you can launch the special one to gain additional genetic mutation debuffs. Then, launch another special one to give you more time to build up your genetic mutation debuffs. From there, launch the special two to capitalize on your buildup and gain that fury stack to fuel your damage. If the opponent is still standing, rush back to the special two and finish the fight. Now, let's check out some best uses. As seen in the champion rotation, Anti-Venom's immunity to poison and ability to heal a portion of damage taken makes having the Recoil, Liquid Courage, and Double Edge Masteries viable, especially when it comes to willpower, as the absence of an ever-present poison makes your healing more effective, while taking advantage of the damage boost you gain from these masteries. Immunity to both Incinerate and Poison make him a perfect candidate for that exact Hazard Shift node. His Incinerate immunity counters Incinerate nodes like Backblast or Trial by Fire. His ability to reverse healing with Spectre and Petrify, especially with the Despair Mastery, lets him counter nodes like Aggression Regeneration or Arc Overload, for example. Going against Mystic Champions with unblockable attacks gives Anti-Venom a leg up in the match with the Clintar debuff. Now, there are more than just these uses for Anti-Venom out there. Are you already theory crafting? Where would you use them? Sound off in the comments and let's discuss. Now, let's check out some notable synergies. Headache. With Punisher on the team, Anti-Venom gains 30% potency on Fury effects when fighting against villains. With Punisher, he gains 30% offensive ability accuracy against villains. Countermeasures. With Green Goblin on the team, Anti-Venom's Clintar and Genetic Memory debuffs are not affected by ability accuracy reduction, allowing you to expand his effectiveness across the battle realm. With Green Goblin, for each stack of madness, Afterburner inflicts additional Incinerate debuffs equal to the amount of madness. Maybe later, with Agent Venom on the team, Anti-Venom deals a burst of physical damage equal to 40% of modified attack when inflicting a genetic memory debuff. With Agent Venom, he gains 10% power anytime a debuff is purified. Time Travelers With Spider-Man 2099 or Dr. Octopus on the team, Anti-Venom for the first 10 seconds of the fight, the opponent cannot gain buffs. With Spider-Man 2099, at the start of the fight, he inflicts a wither debuff on the opponent reducing ability power rate by 120% for 15 seconds, giving you access to reverse power gain and easy ruptures right away. And with Dr. Octopus, he gains a 25% chance to inflict another burst of damage per breakthrough removed. And finally, Close Family. With Venom or Carnage on the team, 
Anti-Venom reduces the ability accuracy of buffs on symbiote opponents by 50%. With Venom and Carnage, when knocking out Spider-Verse heroes, they regenerate 15% of max health. Did you see a synergy that caught your eye? Thinking of a new synergy team? Let us know your thoughts below and let's discuss. Thank you for watching this champion deep dive for Anti-Venom. Are you ready? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below and if you like the video and want to see more, click subscribe, like, comment and share. And remember, we'll see you in the Battle Realm.